How's it going, guys? This is Anthony with Innovation and Tech Today, live at the USA Science and Engineering Festival. I'm here with Dr. Kate Bieberdorf. How are you today, Kate? Good, how are you? Doing, Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, doing very well. Um, now, you have a show coming up, correct? I do, yes. I am so excited. So yesterday I did my cold show. Today is my hot show, meaning fire. And I love my fire show, so I'm very, very excited about this one. So uh, it's your hot show. There's fire. Uh, elaborate on that a little bit, please. Oh, absolutely. So what I do is I kind of walk through different sources of fuel. So I start with a solid source, liquid source, and then a gas source, obviously, is my my favorite. Um, so I use tons of hydrogen balloons and I'm going to have little fireworks so I spike the hydrogen balloons with little inorganic salts so you'll have copper, strontium and so a green flame, red flame, so on and so forth. I mean I just love that. It's really fun for me. <laughs> What'd you do for the uh, cold show? Cold show is my cryogenic. So dry ice, liquid nitrogen and then just because of time and I like to do this one demo I slipped a little bit of electricity in there too. Okay, yeah, people <laughs> like that. Is this your first time at the festival? Yes this is my very first time. I'm so excited. I can't believe they let me do two shows. I'm so Oh, this has just been such a wonderful experience. Totally. And what do you want uh, you know, people to draw from your shows here at the USA SEF? Well, one of my goals in life is to show the next generation of scientists a different version of a scientist. So when I grew up, there was nobody that looked like me that was a chemist that was smart. They were always the girl next door or whatever. And so I just want to show the next generation of girls, you can be anybody, you can look however you want to look. As long as you have a question, you're a scientist. Yeah, definitely. Now tell me a little bit about your outreach program as well. Oh, this is probably my favorite part of what I get to do. Um, so I'm a professor of chemistry at the University of Texas. And so usually I teach general chemistry for majors and non-majors, but my favorite part is I run this outreach program called Fun with Chemistry and I go out to local Austin schools and I just blow stuff up and I try to show kids that science is fun and entertaining and you don't have to be a dork or a nerd to like science. You can just be a normal girl or boy who likes fire and explosions. Yeah, I was going to say like what's the kind of the best way to show kids uh, you know that STEM education is cool, STEM education is really interesting, it's a good thing to do. You know uh, what's the best way to show them that? Well, personally, I believe in William James' theory of emotional memory. So if you do something that's going to make somebody have an emotional response, they're more likely to actually remember what you said after that. And so my entire um, ideology, or whatever you want to call it, is I like to do an explosion or a demonstration, and then I have about 60 seconds to just shove that science knowledge into the kid's head. And so that's kind of my approach. Do a demo, and then talk about the science, and then go right to the next one. You can't have any lulls in your presentation, not with five-year-olds. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, just kind of wrapping up, here, what's the your favorite experiment to do on stage? Oh, okay. If I have to pick one, it would definitely be my thundercloud. And that's just because I have such an emotional response to that one. I saw it when I was younger, and I knew in that moment I wanted to be a chemist. And so what you do is you take a bucket of liquid nitrogen, and that's on the floor, and then in your hands you have a bucket of hot water. And so about negative 200 degrees down there, about 80 degrees up here. So you throw the hot water into the bucket of liquid nitrogen, and what happens is this huge cloud of nitrogen goes up. Um, when I hit it perfectly, I can get it about three stories in the air, and then I'm gone. It looks like a magic show. You cannot see me. And then the whole cloud dissipates, and I get to kind of end my show with like a grand finale, and I just love it. It's so now, fun. Could you do that right here for us? Or, I uh, would do that okay. for you, but um, you're a little close and not in a lab coat, okay. so I would say unless you want to get splashed with a bunch of hot and really cold water, let's say no. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm so excited to see your show, Fire, Explosion, Science. I think it'll be really cool. Dr. Bieber, it was so nice to meet you today. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the festival. Until next time, this has been Anthony with Innovation and Tech Today, live at the USA Science and Engineering Festival.